All right, there are only two more Fridays of Lent, but plenty of options for your Fish Fry Friday. We've covered a bunch of restaurants, but here in Western New York, you know you can count on our local fire halls to serve up great fish fry dinners, and they support our first responders. This morning, 7 News reporter Taylor Reps live for us in the town of Tonawanda at the Kenilworth Fire Department learning all about their fish fry. Good morning, Taylor. A lot of fryers already working this morning. Ed and Katie, good morning. Good morning, everybody. We are in the kitchen where this is a well oiled machine. Mm -hmm. I want to show you what they're doing here. We're at Kenilworth Fire. Well, they've been doing fish fries for 18 years, so they know what they're doing. It is absolutely no secret that some of our biggest heroes in our community are also some of our best cooks. So we want to talk a little bit about how important it is that they have these fish fries and have these fundraisers. And we're here with someone who's been here since the beginning. This is Fire Commissioner Bob Lundquist. Thank you for being up early with us, even though I know you're always awake. Thank, thank <laughs> you for having us. We've been up since 3 o'clock. So. Since 3 o'clock this morning, me too. And another fire. Yeah. So, <laughs> another fire. So at least you're here getting to have some fish fry. Talk a little bit about how important it is for you guys to have a fish fry. The, the fish fry is important for a cu couple of reasons. A, it's a fundraiser for the fire company. It helps us do things for the, you know, within the fire hall itself. You know, it, it, it gives us the ability to put the tables and chairs and the such into the building here. It gives us the ability to support our, our firemen. Mm -hmm. We are able to have a party here and there for them so that they have something to do. Fire hall is really like a brotherhood. You know, when you join the fire hall, you, beca you become a brother. It's a, it's a family organization. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's, that's really where it's important, yeah. you know, so in you family. So you guys start in here, and then we're going to bring these over to the back, right? right. Yeah. Okay. These so I'll come out here now. Once awesome. they're, I'll once take one. I'll grab here. them. All right. Here's one. Okay. You got it. We got the rest. All right. We're going to run out. Okay. This is how it goes. And then this is a, a drive-through only this year, right? So things are a little bit different. Only, yeah. We have to do the drive-through only this year. You know, mostly it started last year because of the COVID. What we do is we, you know, we package them in through here. They come out once they're prepped. You can see we've set up in here, you've got your beer, you've got your breaded, we've got the shrimp, and we have also do fish down at the end. They, as they come out of the kitchen, they get put onto these tables, then they get put into the bags, and from the bags here, you'll have people out at the street. There's two lanes that we come through on the street. They take the orders out there. Once the orders are taken, you get a runner that actually comes in here and picks up the bag, you'll, you'll hear him scream, uh, two, you know, two beer, one bread and he'll be bagging them up in here. As they bag them, we run them back out. It's, it's only a matter of minutes once the order's taken that you're here and gone and on your way. It is 